Hey guys, this is a Jaeger task guide. For pest control for this task, you have to eliminate 10 scavs in the barracks areas on reserve. So here's the map reserve and the areas where we do have to get the eliminations for them to count towards this task are outlined on the map for you guys. And basically we do have to get these scav kills inside and around the black and white pond buildings. And the kills will count while you are on any level of these buildings from the basement all the way up to the rooftop. And just to clarify, the basement areas of each building are considered the same level as the black pond marked room for both sides. But once you go through the basement door and then start to head down into the under underground bunker area then the kills will no longer count for you also bsg does typically give us between 5 and 10 meters outside of the buildings for a little bit of wiggle room when doing perimeter elimination tasks like this and i can confirm that the kills will count outside of the two buildings provided that the scavs are close enough to the building also it is worth noting that it only matters where these scavs are located when you land the kill shot it doesn't matter if you end up shooting them even all the way from dome as long as they are within the barracks areas then the kills will count towards the task for you now there are a couple of tricks that you can do for this task, especially since you are allowed to eliminate AI or player scavs, but just remember it is mostly RNG and then also dependent on AI scavs actually spawning into the raid in this area, or even waiting for the player scavs to spawn in and then to come and try and loot this area as well. So I know that this is hard to believe, but there is actually an audio bug at the time of me recording this video that allows you to hear from the roof of the black pond as though you are on the ground level. And sometimes you can even hear things all the way down in the bunker, but that can actually throw you off more than help you. Now, because of this bug, I actually did majority of the task from this rooftop, but if you are planning to be up on this roof, then you will have to periodically check up on the dome for any PMCs who have gone up there to snipe so that you don't turn into a statistic for their shooter born in heaven task. Now, if you are concerned about the snipers at the dome, then one way to probably get around this is to go at nighttime reserve and then bring in some MVGs and just basically listen for the audio cues of the players and scavs down beneath you. Since usually you can tell from these audio cues, such as walking on broken glass in certain areas, exactly where they should be. And sometimes I will pair this audio bug with the same bait trick that I use for the long road task in order to draw player scavs to the area where they will count for my task. And the easiest way to bait the scavs is to bring in a pilgrim or another big backpack and then to drop it out in front of the white pond building. And in my experience, most player scavs will try to go and pick up the bigger bag if they do see one to be able to get more loot on their scav run. So when they do go forth, then I will take them out once they're close enough to the building to count towards my task. And I do specifically say the pilgrim just because it is a noticeable enough bag that people will see it from relatively far away. Now another trap that you can set is to call in an airdrop in front of the barracks buildings and hope that it does land close enough to the buildings to count. Or if it doesn't land close enough then you can always shoot them in the leg in hopes that that will get them off the drop and then hope that they limp towards one of the two barracks buildings for cover and then take them out then. Now another thing that you can do is to shoot the AI scavs to injure them which will hopefully get them to lock onto you and then usually they will try and push into the building towards you and even come up to the rooftop. Or when you do see them go into the building, then you can push them in the staircase to secure the kill as well. Now, the last method that I will talk about is for those of you without a conscience, and it will involve some straight up deception or basically just using VoIP to lure player scabs with false promises of safety because there is a co-op extract on the surface level of reserve. And sometimes you can use that to your advantage because people are always trying to grind a higher level of scav rep. And so you can lure the player scavs inside of one of the barracks buildings with the promise of loot and also not killing them so that you guys can go and take the co-op extract together. And basically when they approach you with their knife out, then you can drop your bag and tell them to take some loot for being chill and agreeing to take the extract with you. And then as they're looting your bag, then you can give them the Boondock Saints special. Now I didn't know if I wanted to add this into the guide since it will just leave a bunch of players with trust issues, but honestly this task is so awful and you spend so many raids bored out of your mind that you just basically want it over with, and some people are going to end up as collateral damage. Now I find that this task is similar to the other ones that require you to eliminate scavs in specific areas like Long Road and Safe Corridor, where it just seems like whenever you have this task active then the scavs just don't spawn in, but one theory is that it could be due to a scav limit per map, so if you're not having any luck getting them to spawn, sometimes it works best to go and clear a different location on the map, like at the night buildings or under the K-Train area, and then return to see if that has gotten some spawns at the barracks buildings, and usually there are a few AI scav spawn waves per raid. So hopefully this guide was useful to you guys and did help you to complete this task. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this video. If you're still here at the end, I definitely appreciate you. I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week. So if you do want to connect with me or my community, that would probably be the easiest way to do so. And if you do come over to the Twitch and you want to join the Discord community, then just type exclamation point Discord or cord in the chat in order to get an invite link. And if you don't use Twitch, then I do have a link in the picture as well as a link below in the description and we are growing and currently have an active and welcoming community with people of all experience and skill levels so there will always be someone who could help to answer any questions that you may have as always thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video and i hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day